Hi friends, it's Gina Mayo from I Choose Joy here. Today we are going to be looking at the Intro to Forensic Science. This is a brand new curriculum in 2023 from Masterbooks. And I am planning on using this not this coming school year, but the year after because it says it's for 11th and 12th grade and my daughter will be in 10th grade this coming year. So I'm really excited to use this with her in um, a year. So let's look at the inside. This book is the uh, student reading book, like the textbook. And the other one that I'll show you in a minute is the teacher guide that has some other materials in it. So the um, student book, textbook has right here um, a description about the author. So she has a PhD in education. Um, she works for Answers in Genesis. She has been involved in educational research and high school lab programs. She has been in, interested in forensic science since an early age. And her father was a renowned fingerprint expert. She has had experience in employment in a crime scene unit as well as uh, teaching and writing. So it, this is a full year curriculum. It is a one science credit with lab for high school. And as I said before, it's, for, it's um, expected to be for 11th and 12th grade. And one reason is because of the subject matter that will be involved in the curriculum. And we'll talk more about that in a minute, but let's look through the table of contents. So you're learning what is forensic science, the crime scene, physical evidence such as drugs, weapons, documents, biological ev evidence such as DNA, toxicology, death scenes, uh, transitory evidence like fingerprints. Then we go to forensic tools like microscopes and crime labs, forensic specialities, like odontology and forensic psychiatry, and then talking about the judicial system like chain of custody, custody and courtroom testimony. All right, so here I would like to show you what <clears throat> lesson one is. Um, so there are 36 weeks of this curriculum and it's five days a week for about 45 minutes at a time. So this is the first chapter. There are, I like the way it's laid out. It's, it's nicely um, written with lots of colors and graphs and photographs, um, little side note types of things. So each lesson has, um, let me just flip through so you can see different things that would be in it. Okay, so that was unit one and then here is unit two. Now I'm going to um, show you, just flip through like this so you could kind of get an idea of what the book looks like. And this is a paperback book. And then at the end, there is a glossary. And, um, footnotes. Okay, now I want to show you this other book. This is how thick this one is. This other book, The Teacher's Guide, has quite a lot of information in it. Um, it goes through the scope and sequence. Notice that the textbook is bound, but this one is bound with three hole punch and perforated pages. So if you wanted to take some of these out, you could. And the reason why you might want to is because of these exercises. So these go with each of the lessons, like I showed you lesson one and two in the other book. So you, the student could take this out and use it to take notes. Um, and then there are questions to help them review what they've learned. And this also will be helping them to prepare for the tests because there are tests included as well. But let me skip back to the beginning of this book and show you um, 
This in particular, it talks about some of the case studies that will be studied in the curriculum and why they believe it should be for older students. Um, so there are some of the uh, trials, uh, O.J. Simpson, Ted Bundy, uh, lots of murder cases, um, serial murder cases, so very graphic and um, hard topics to deal with. So that's why they recommend it for older high school students. Um, there are labs included. So some of the things that they would be doing in their labs are sketching a mini crime scene, processing fingerprints, taking shoe impressions, um, identifying a criminal based on blood analysis, calculating the trajectory of a bullet, and criminal profiling. And each lab takes one to two days to complete. And I wanna show you, um, this is a quick overview of the supply list. So some things that would be easy to find at home. Um, some things are food that you could purchase like potato, olive oil, kitchen supplies. And then there are some other things that you would most likely need to order. Um, I checked at the site where I like to get my homeschool lab materials. It's home science tools, and you could use my affiliate link at ichoosejoy.org slash home science tools. And they don't have, at the time of this recording, they did not have a box um, for this particular curriculum called Intro to Forensic Science, but they do have the Master Books curriculum box for chemistry. So my guess is that they will have this one soon. I'm, I, it's just this is so brand new, they probably haven't put it together yet. But there is a detailed, let me find it, a detailed supply list on page 461 that I wanted to show you. Just so you have an idea of what some of the materials are that you'd need for this curriculum. So just flipping through to see if there's some unusual things. Some of this, most of this stuff doesn't look like it's too unusual or difficult to find. Um, they do say to use a microscope if you can. Um, just looking through some of the stuff. So a lot of this actually could just be done from home. Look, this one with um, microscope slides and cover slips, you just use a ha human hair sample and three animal fur samples. Here's one, uh, test tubes and a test tube rack. So you might need to order that, those kinds of materials. Okay, so that is for the labs which you can easily do at home. This I like, it gives you the daily schedule. And so as I said, it's in 36 weeks, they break it up into uh, quarters, four quarters or two semesters. And you see that for the days, there are 180 days worth. So let's just look at the last week. You've got lesson 34, um, the lab tells you what pages to read, tells you to take this test. Um, there's a study day and then the cumulative test too. And that is how you end the course. All right, I showed you the, the exercises that go with each lesson, which are kind of like review of the lesson to make sure you understand it. You've got your um, definitions you need to memorize and different exercises to work through. And then the tests are at the end of this book. So you've got both the tests that you hand out to the student. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was on page 460 something. Yeah, look, these are tests you could see. So this is a test that you could tear out and give to the student. And then the very last part of the book are the answers. So these are all the answers that you can use to grade your students' work. So a really incredible curriculum. I'm glad to have this intro to forensic science because I, my daughter's interested in it and that's what we will use for her next um, science after she does chemistry. 
If you are interested in finding this, and it is on sale right now as I am recording this video, you can go to my affiliate link at ichoosejoy.org slash forensic science. Thank you.